Oh, yellow jacket. So is this alternate universe Martha with our Jonas? Whoa, coin. Whoa, Sigmundus. Are they implying that Jonas died? Very rem reminiscing very much of Jonas waking up to seeing Adam back in season two. Yeah, very much so. Ah, okay. It's from Jonas, not from Martha, which is interesting because Stranger Jonas does not remember writing that letter, right? That, that's why he was shocked. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. They are implying that young Jonas died through the bloody hands of Martha, right? Like Martha is holding the, the body of Jonas, which is a flip-flop of what happened at the end of season two. But if that is the case, then what the fuck? What is Stranger Jonas, right? Oh, hello. The gang's all here. Including Bartosz, who is not present in the rest of Sig Sigmundus season 2, but still lingering with that possibility of Bartos being. Oh. I'm not your Martha, though. Ich bin nicht Martha. Not your Martha. Dass ihr nicht sterbt in meiner Welt und ich nicht sterbe in eurer. So that you don't die in my world. Whoa. So she's referring to our Magnus and our people dying in, the, in her world? I mean, I guess we, we don't know what happened to the rest of the Mundus after the end of season two, right? We never really got to see them again after Adam went to the past. Well, well I guess to the future. But yeah, that, that opening moment, though, that was that was alternate universe Martha with our Jonas. And that hasn't happened yet. Well, it has happened. At least in the future, uh, in, in alternate universe Martha's perspective. And if what they are implying is correct, or at least what I am thinking the implication is, which is our Jonas is dying, it... Mm, because one of the biggest point of contention right now is how, how does... The stranger not know about alternate universe Martha if the stranger is past Jonas, unless he is not. Unless there's some memories being wiped from existence due to the differences in, in where they are. I'm not sure. 1987. <laughs> the Goonies. Oh. Oh. Katarina went back to the past, just slept in Mikhail's bed, which will soon be Jonas's bed. Wenn Sie die offenen Rechnungen nicht begleichen, müssen wir den Anschluss zum nächsten Monat kappen. Bitte melden Sie sich und gehen zurück. Wieder. Missing. The last we saw them was when Ulrich was being taken, right? Jana Nilsson? That's Tronte, right? Sag ihm, wo du warst, als Mats verschwunden ist. Gefickt hat er sie! Während mein Sohn verschwunden ist, hat er Claudia Tiedemann gevögelt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the affair between... Okay. I wonder where Ulrich is. Young Ulrich. I mean. Claudia, Claudia. This is Claudia? Where are we? When are we? Oh. Oh. The future. Well, present after the apocalypse. Oh, oh, the day the earth stood still. Oh. Huh. 
Huh. Medicine that was supposed to be for, for her father is now for her daughter. Is this? Oh, okay. I thought I was Noah, but no. Huh. Peter using... They're staying at that place. Huh, interesting. Noah. I know that theme. I know that theme very well. Warum tun sie ihr das an? Family stick together. I love that. Just through his action, no need for words. And they all understand. Noah's gonna... Root? Das ist doch bullshit. Okay. Ich bin nicht tot. Ich bin hier. Well. You're dead in that universe. Woher wusstest du, wo wir sind? Good question. Jonas hat es mir gesagt. No, he didn't. Future younger Jonas did, though. But how does he know? There's so many questions. Ich war nie in deiner Welt. Mmm. Was willst du wirklich? No, 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 calm down, calm down. Is this supposed to be Tan House? Whoa. Is he blind? I think he is. Yeah. <laughs> of course, she recognizes him, but he does not recognize her. Hey, Ulrich. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is trippy. She remembered seeing herself. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. His jacket, though. No future. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Oh my god, Claudia is building the wall. The wall of photos. That iconic wall from episode 1. We kind of got a similar shot to this of older Cla Interesting cut. Oh, Waller. Ugh, Clausen. Charlotte? Is Charlotte even there? Because she was touching Elizabeth in the future and then goes root. So, is there a possibility that Charlotte either got sucked into the future? Never thought of it that way before. Mm. That sound cue. There is still hope. Either that or she obliterated and, and turned into particles. The Junge is not verschwunden. Das Jugendamt kennt den Aufenthaltsort von Ines und Michael Kahnwald. There it is. Who is that sitting on the side? Regina. Hello, Regina. The dog. <laughs> what if Tronte is the father? Because we never know. And what did you say? Something about me? I thought that you were just saying something. The hints are there. <laughs> There's literally no other explanation. Claudia is only close to Tronte if I remember correctly when they were a when, when they were young. He totally is. He totally is the father. We're not going to introduce a new character and reveal them to be the father, no. 
it it has to be somebody that we know. It's Tronte, a hundred percent. Cut to Regina. No. Cut to something else entirely. But we are cutting to Claudia. My name is Claudia Tiedemann. Ich bin eine der wenigen Überlebenden der Apokalypse vom 27. Juni 2020. These are the tapes. Vielleicht können wir sie retten. Alle. It's all starting to connect. I love seeing that. I love seeing the wall and the pictures just slowly getting more and more filled in. Well, well, well. This is interesting. The body's not there anymore. Right? Well, not creepy at all. Hello, Noah. So how did these two fall in love? Like, how did that happen? Du willst sie beschützen. Ich weiß. Das will ich auch. Und das werde ich. Nachdem du getötet wurdest. Excuse oh, mm, mm, I a a a spoilers man <laughs> what, what was that no I just spoiled me that that Peter's gonna die well hmm okay I do love the line where he says that I will because we know that he will don't do anything stupid Bartosh just, just have a talk. Just have a really good talk. Es tut mir leid. Hmm. Nicht so einfach in 1888 an einen nuklearen Brennstoff aus der Zukunft zu kommen. Yeah. We still don't know what is written there. Was auch immer diese Frau für dich bedeutet, vergiss nicht, was wir erschaffen werden. Das Paradies. Wow. Eine perfekte Welt. All of the seeds I will eventually turn the stranger into Adam, right? These are all words that Adam is trying to, yeah. That's all as it should be. Oh, we're back in the ward. Katarina wants to visit Ulrich. Man, I love the direction that they are going for with Katarina. And especially her mannerisms, her acting. Like how she's afraid and she should be. Oh, that's her mother, isn't it? Is the Christophorus. The Schutzheilige der Reisenden. Hmm. So it's from her. Meine Mutter hatte auch so ein. Ja, ja, ja. Could the mother be the woman in the lake? Or it could be Katharina. Meine Kollegin ist sie dann raus. Depending on who that necklace is gonna end up with at the end. Oh my god. <laughs> He's such a broken man, though. Katarina. Oh, what a shot. I hole dich raus. Versprochen. Oh, that got a tear out of me. Also, maybe beat the shit out of Hana. I don't know. Find her. She's probably old at this point. Just you know, just just beat the shit out of her. <laughs> Gotta remember that Hana is still there, enjoying life while while everybody's suffering. <laughs> Hana's a great character, but Entschuldigung. Oh shit! It's one of Fuck. Oh fuck. What the f 
Ich rufe den Wachdienst. This poor woman. Shit. Wrong place, wrong time. Jeez. Ouroboros. Well, well, well. How about that? Well, even more confirmation now. Knows who you are? Hmm. Well. A question that we all had since season two. Oh no. Oh no. Whomst? No, it's not Helge, is it? No. Wait. Oh no, it's Trunk. Tron fuck. Why did I say Helge? Who? Older clock. What? We need to kill Claudia so that. Sorry, we need to kill Regina so Claudia will go down her path and become the White Devil. So everything is in motion and all. That's that's kind of what I'm getting. Shit. Back to the future. Well, would you look at that? Huh. So she was sucked in into the- okay. Time for a mother-daughter... Bonding talk? Who's the mother and who's the daughter though? <laughs> wow. Wow. They did that first time around in season one, right? That gesture of... Wow. That was rude. Oh man, this recontextualizes so many things when, she, when Katarina met her mother. In the ward. Noah technically told her where they are. Huh. They're in the cave. You gotta go into the cave in order to find them. And this is the first time they go into Sigmundus Kratus S. Fascinating. Very Roman inspired. Wow. Yeah. The question still remains though, who built this? Deep underground. Who? Oh, no, no, fuck, that's where Jonas dies. Fuck, fuck you, show. Like, you've, you've already done that with, with, with... Der alte Thanos ist der einzige, der von ihm übrig geblieben ist. Sein Vater war davon überzeugt, die Gesetze von Rom und Zeit außer Kraft setzen zu können. His father? Who is the father? Wer ist dieser Adam? Okay. Er hat es euch nicht gesagt. Oh, shit. Is this really a good time? Wer ist Adam? Fuck. Hello, Eve. Wir können uns They're in that world's version of Secundus. Huh. Aber unserem endgültigen Schicksal. Whoa. Well, that's Adam and Eve. Like, 
No more subtle hints or any, any, it's just right there. What? Whoa, whoa. Infinity and... Oh, we, we, we are going back to that. The two branching... Family trees. It's all the same, nonetheless. The apocalypse geschieht in meiner Welt genauso wie in deiner. In meiner allerdings bereits in drei Tagen. Well, shit. <laughs> they, they ended there. No, man, why? Why? <laughs> Oh yeah, the end of the world is, is coming into my world, um, three days from now, actually. Boom. <laughs> Gustav. Gustav Tannhaus. Eva, not Eve. Eva. Okay, fantastic episode. As always. But... We, we, we gotta talk about- we gotta talk about this immediately. What is going on? What is going on between our Jonas, Stranger Jonas, and Alternate Universe Martha? Something is going on here. I touched a bit upon this in the end of my previous episode of discussion concerning about like the fact that, that, that the Stranger doesn't know anything about um, the other Martha and all that stuff. But now we're just getting more and more info about it. Especially in the beginning of the episode. In the beginning of the episode, we just straight up, yeah, um, heavy, heavy implication that our young Jonas died. It could be somebody else, but the reason why I feel like it is heavily implying that it is Jonas is, one, the St. Christopher um, coin, pendant, whatever it is. And two, the fact that we kind of have a similar situation happening in season two, where we are seeing Martha and Jonas um, in bed making love. And obviously we know then that that is actually something that happened in the past, right? That is something that has, that has happened in the past for Jonas and... Eventually, Martha dies, the significant other dies, and now we are flip-flopping it, and it would make total sense for Martha, if we are following her POV, that Jonas dies. But how? <laughs> and here's the, here's the conundrum. If Jonas dies, then who the F is the stranger? <laughs> what is going on? Something is missing. There is a huge memory gap between our Jonas and the stranger. The stranger knows exactly what is going on with young Jonas, but he doesn't know that his past life, young Jonas, actually went to a different dimension, to a different world, to a different universe, and met with a different Martha. He doesn't remember that. Why? Why? Part of me is still on the... It has something to do with memory. Is it possible that his time in the past... Sorry, not his, his time in the other universe, the memory of that gets erased, gets wiped, and gets um, essentially destroyed as he goes back to our world, as if all of that is just a dream and none of that never really happened. Or is there something else entirely? Because now the, the heavy implication is, once again, young Jonas dies. So... How, how, what is going on here? And again, that is the heavy implication. It is not what is actually going on. We do not know. I'm just talking out of my ass, but I'm just assuming from the structure of the previous season and how that went on, 
if it feels like that is going to be the case it feels like that is going to be the um i guess the second point of universal change i don't know how to call it but i'm just assume because because here's what i'm thinking right currently Jonas is with eva and if these two universes if if the characters in these two universes have something in common with their counterpart because that's the crazy thing right um there is a counterpart to each of the characters but i don't think that necessarily works for adam and eva because Adam and Eva are two completely different characters, but I feel like they are the actual counterparts for each other, right? Because they are one of the same. Eva is born from Adam, right? And, of course, naturally speaking, right here, Martha, that will, that will eventually become Eva, becomes Eva because of Adam, because of Adam's death, because of Adam's sacrifice. Or, I guess in this case, Jonas's death, right? So, the time loop in my mind is that eva is going to convince Jonas of like something or at least convince um young martha of something else entirely and, and and all that stuff we're essentially redoing season two where eventually Jonas will die and martha will be there and eva's the one who kills Jonas. i don't know but i feel like that's going to be what's going to happen and Martha is doing that thing, that same thing that Jonas did in the beginning of season two, where she goes into a room, she goes into a place, she looks at at, at a place at, at like a floor, and I'm, and I'm like, that's 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 just essentially what Jonas did when when Martha died. So, what is happening? What is happening? And not only that, we we do see glimpses of it in the opening um, montages, right? So if we if we do sort of if we kind of dissect this, so essentially Martha um, will pop out of the cave. Which cave is this? Is this going to be our world or the alternate universes? But I feel like it's going to be our world. Why? Because there is the um, the tape, the line, where, where it's obviously trying to restrict access to um, the cave, right? Which is, which is basically what happened in our world, because nobody did went into the cave in the other universe, right? But then we got more and more. We... Hang on, let me, let me, let me see if I can find a shot, but... Trying not to accidentally show all of the all the romantic scenes otherwise youtube will probably be unhappy about it but yeah martha washing her hands very reminiscent of what claudia did martha touching somebody's hands who I think is implying Jonas. But here, Martha is in her world's Sigmundus. We saw that. At, we saw this background at the end of this episode. This is the painting of Adam and Eve. But she already has blood on her. You see the scar that will eventually be, be, be the scar that Eva has. Right here. But the thing is, Martha was fixated on our world's um, Sigmundus, right? She was looking at the floor of our Sigmundus, not her world's, but our world's, right? Or at least the, the, the original world's Sigmundus. Whereas here, it is, this is obviously the Sigmundus from the other world. So, what is going on here? Did somebody else die? Did she go back here? Like, there's still a lot of things that, we, that I'm not completely sure of. I don't even, I don't even think, I don't even know that... What if it's all a, a, a red herring? What if Martha just looked at the floor just randomly and then that's not, never gonna be the case? I mean, I don't know, but, but I feel like that's going to be where 
a major event will happen and most likely somebody's death. All of this just in the first minute of this episode. It's like, hey, yeah, we're going to... We're gonna give you all of the juicy things, and we're gonna give you all of the clues, the mysteries, the details, and we're not going to explain what is actually going on, so you go think about it yourself. Har har har. But a lot of the things in this episode was like, more bombshells, more reveals. Tronte heavily implied to be Claudia's, um partner and Regina's father, heavily implied, heavily implied, maybe too much heavy implication to the point where I feel like at this point you should, they, they should just confirm it, <laughs> like it's, it's very, very obvious, right, it's, it's, it's very obvious, um, and I guess the other thing In this episode is the, uh, where is it? Here. Katarina and her mother. And her mother is the one who has the St. Christopher's, um, necklace. Isn't that fascinating? So it, it, it went from her, and it'll eventually reach Martha. Three generations of it, right? Passed down. I don't think we haven't seen Katarina wearing it. And that is what concerns me. The kids found this necklace, and look, it's obviously... There's a lot of these necklaces around, like, the world. Like, like, come on, the same way as how there's a lot of books that are written by Tan House, right? But when they show an object in this show, chances are that object, if you see it again, that is the same object, just from a different timeline. You know, like, that's just usually how it goes. That is the structure and that is the rules of this show, right? So that necklace is 100% going to be the necklace that Martha is going to get. And that worries me, because they found that in the lake. And of course, there is the, that, that old legend in the lake that somebody died there, a woman or, or something. I, I don't remember fully the story, but I do know that somebody definitely died in that lake, and then the, the necklace goes down into the lake. So, who died? One thing for certain, Katarina is not going to make it out into the present. Like Katarina in the 80s, we don't see an old Katarina in the in the 2020s. No, we don't. We don't see her at all. So I'm afraid. I am very much afraid. But I have a feeling that Katarina is probably probably in some way going to get that necklace, and she is going to die in that lake. That's the theory. A more crazy theory is that Katarina is going to meet Hana, <laughs> and they're gonna be going on that lake, and then Hana's going to kill Katarina. Like, ooh, more ways for me to to to, to, to hate that 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 that. Mm. <laughs> I swear, if that is if if that is going to happen, I am going to lose my shit. But that is the other thing, right? We still have not seen Hana at all. We know that Hana stayed in. The 50s. And wait, 50s or 19, no, 50s, 50s, 100%. He, she was staying in the 50s and she has not moved since. She was, she's staying there. She is staying there, and we ha we and we don't know what happened to her in the future because we have we, we never really see her again, or at least. We think we don't. There is still that possibility that Hana is hiding amongst us. Being a really old person and we don't know who she is. I 
dabbled into the into the idea and the theory that maybe Hana is Yana, but mm, now that I'm thinking about it, it it oh, well first of all it does not line up at all. So I don't know this despite the similarities in name, but I don't. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of backtracking from that theory. I don't think that's, I don't know. The more I, the more I think about that theory, the more illogical that theory becomes. Unless the show somehow expertly wrote in a way as to how she could be her, then then maybe I don't know. But but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm backtracking from that from that theory. But aside from all of that, the. I guess the last thing that I do want to talk about, well, well, there's two things. I mentioned briefly about Tronte. The heavy implication that Tronte is Regina's father. And now, in the future, an unfortunate event happened. Tronte killed Regina. He said that this is all according to her or, or something verbatim so it's um essentially that's what she said she told me that this is the way for for you to be saved or something like that and then she kills her who is the she that she, that he is referring to i think the heavy implication is that it is actually claudia like like old claudia the white devil claudia is the one who told tronte that this is the way to kill you know in order to save regina you need to kill regina I don't know if she told him directly or if that is something that he discovered through flipping the book. So there's two options here, right? But either way, I think it is heavily implied that Claudia, the white devil, is the one who told Tronte to kill Regina. And the reason why that is the case even though it's pretty much like countering like the idea of in order to save somebody, you need to kill them? How? Well, you kill Regina, then young Claudia, well, I guess middle-aged Claudia right now, she's going to see that, implanted in her mind the desire to change the world, the desire to save each and every one of them from this horrific outcome. And that is going to tumble down into her path into becoming the white devil that that she will become in the future, right? All of this is essentially playing with the past in order for everything to stay in the direct path into the future, right? The future is making sure that the past is all playing around exactly as how it should be. So the future can remain the same. Despite the future trying to change itself. You can't continue knowing that someone knowing that someone in the past can change everything for you. It's 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 so fascinating to think about that because that is essentially what is going on with Adam as well, right? Adam desires to save everyone he still does and he also wants to make sure that the world changes into something even better paradise if you will as um old man tan house here gustav uh mentions right we're building paradise here we'll build we'll, we are building a future where everybody lives heaven paradise and the only thing that is getting in their way is the past the past is trying to change the future and the future doesn't want to change because the future is still searching for the future future right it's like the f in, in the future's mind it's like we're so close we're almost there we are almost at the point where we can save everybody do not change this please do not fuck it up do not change this and so it is the future's job in order for the past to keep being that way in order to not change anything, in order for there not to be any fuck-ups, right? 
And for the past, it hurts, but then they slowly become the future, and then the cycle continues, and that's why I fucking love the show. So what is going on with Martha? Where does she go? Where is her place in all of this? At the end of this episode, we saw an image of Adam and Eve, right? Two figures and then the tree splitting them in the middle. The tree can also, well, the tree obviously is the tree of life, the tree that, um, where um, Adam and Eve, you know, pick the apple and eat it and suddenly they fall into sin. But it can also represent the family tree itself, where how, how everything is connected and through these connections, there is severity, there is severance, there is a split. Through connection, there is disconnection. Because Adam and Eve, the image, right, the image that we saw at the end of this episode, I think what I like about that image is how the image is not connected. These are two different images. These are two different paintings, right? And they're both, and, and Adam, Adam and Eve are separated by the tree. One is on the left and one is on the right. Fascinating. Very fascinating. Now, all of this feel like We have returned to the setup phase of Dark. We are now setting up what is to come for the end of Season 3. We are establishing where our characters are, where they are in the world, when they are in the world, who they are with, and how it's all going to lead up back into the beginning of the show. I do still believe that this is a loop that unfortunately cannot be sealed. I think by the end of this, while sacrifices will be made and all that stuff, but it's a matter of we cannot change all of this. And we have to accept that. And so we return back into the beginning of this episode. Maybe they do discover paradise. Maybe they do discover peace. But it's, it'll come with a cost. Because eventually... Jonas will become the stranger. And the stranger will become Adam. And that will repeat and... There's nothing that will, that will change that, as I mentioned multiple times already. If change is possible, then why are they all still here? If change is possible, then Adam shouldn't be here in the first place. And yet, here he is. Nothing changed. So obviously, it'll eventually loop back into the beginning. And I feel like that ending, the ending of Season 3, I feel like... Predicting here, but... I feel like it's going to fill in that gap between young Jonas and the stranger. Because that is the biggest gap in the show so far. The stranger does not know anything that is going on with the alternate universe. But obviously the stranger knowing that the alternate universe exists is going to lead him into becoming Adam. Because that is the goal that Adam is trying to do. Right? So everything is all according to plan except for the fact that the stranger and young Jonas does not connect properly in terms of like who they are as a person and who they are as a character and their memories. That is the thing that is missing. 
something has to happen between them. And I feel like that is going to be like where we are going to be heading. Sacrifices must be made. Even in this episode, so many sacrifices has been made. Thronda killing Regina is probably like the biggest um, example of this, where he has to kill Regina in order for Claudia to become the White Devil. Previous seasons, Claudia accidentally kills her father. And then she refuses to call an ambulance, call emergency, because it has to happen. Sacrifices must be made. That is one of the major themes of this show, right? Where the sacrifices are going to be bigger and bigger and bigger, and they have to accept that, and they have to move on. I guess the last thing that I haven't talked about is the mother-daughter relationship. Um, Charlotte and Elizabeth, and how they are both now in the future. So Eliz sorry, um so Charlotte did get sucked in. We do see that sort of like animation in the, the end of season two. We, but I just we just didn't know yet like what that means. Does that mean like the explosion happened or something happened? We don't know. But everybody else surrounding Charlotte is dead. And Charlotte is now stuck in the future. So, um obviously Charlotte is going to die. <laughs> like, like that's that's not even going to be a um, a surprise. I feel like Charlotte has to die in the future. Elizabeth is going to, um, well, actually, we don't, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so Elizabeth has already given birth to Charlotte in the future, right? Somewhere in between. The 2020s and the 2050s, Charlotte gave birth to, to uh, sorry, um, Elizabeth gave birth to Charlotte. We don't know what happened. Well, well, Noah then moves into the past and does all of his Noah shit. And then somehow that Charlotte from the 19, from, from, from the 20, sometimes between the 2020s and the 2050s, that Charlotte, young Charlotte is going to go back into the 20 into the early 20, well, not early 2000s, 1980s, right? She's going to, she's going to go to the 1980s where she's going to be with, um, um, with, with Tan House. Yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, I do enjoy that season, with, with season 3 of Dark, while we are still getting more and more questions, like a lot of questions, but we are also getting more of an idea of what happened, or what became of the whole world in the beginning of seasons 1 and 2. It's like, a lot of things that are going on with seasons 1 and 2 were like, okay, how did this character end up being here, how did this happen, how did that happen, how did this came to be, and we are kind of slowly figuring that all out in Season 3, while at the same time also introducing new questions, mostly directed to the future of the show. The show is answering all of our past questions and also giving us new questions for the future. That is exciting. Honestly, I think that's going to be it for my discussion for this episode of Dark. I know it's pretty short compared to like the previous episode, but that's probably why i feel like all of the things that i want to talk about with season three has been kind of talked about in in that episode so if you haven't already then check out the previous episode discussion but anyways that is pretty much it so we are looking at the possibility of jonas and martha Finally joining forces. In a different way. Kinda love it. Alternate Universe Martha is dealing with the Stranger. Our Jonas is now dealing with Eva. And how does all of that come into play? Like, who is actually the... 
the puppet master here. Ah. All right. That is it for this review and discussion for Dark. It's been kind of a bit all over the place now that I'm thinking about it, but that is how it is usually most of the time. So hope you guys enjoyed this mini small review discussion of Dark. If you do, hit the like, subscribe, and all that stuff. You know the drill by now. Um, early access is available on the Patreon if you want to see more. Then you can hop on over to that. Links are all in the description below. Thank you all so much. See you all next time. Take care. Have a nice day. Peace.